Good morning, folks. Stick around to the end for the debunking of the San Diego UFO. It was a relatively calmer day on our star. The main eruptive activity occurred on the northeast near the limb or just behind the limb. This relative calm, however, is both expected and unexpected. The sunspot grouping has a strong magnetic classification we'll see in a moment. Lots of magnetic fields, plenty of chances to fire, so on one hand the spot is not living up to expectations. But at the same time, the silence garnered by these big boys here is yet another example of the Earth-facing solar quiet. The phenomenon we've tracked since November 2011, and which had not been seen since the Maunders watched the sun do this hundreds of years ago. If you go check SOHO, you will see CME ejecta leaving the sun around the 10 or 11 o'clock position. Couple snaps, couple pops. I think I noticed at least one filament-driven CME and one flare-driven CME. The solar flaring in general has calmed back down into B and C range. Let's take a look at those sunspots. The central groups out ahead of the trailers are spread magnetically with almost no mixing potential. Our new spots down south are alpha class wannabes and not producing much as of now. Big dog up north, that's still the story. You can see how jumbled up the spots are, especially when you check the magnetogram. I note three delta potential zones here. Too bad all these spots are shy. I guess Earth must be beautiful from way up there. Anyway, seven days of solar wind show that CME impact from days ago is waning now, with just slight variability this morning. The electron flux is recovering, but for this morning's little blips, energy hasn't resurged. But please note that the magnetic storm energy from before actually required a new line up there on the chart. Normally, it does not go that high. And during those moments, by the way, transformers began tripping and short-circuiting in the Netherlands. Could be coincidence, but that's the kind of thing you want to watch for. So apart from the major energy influx, Earth shield calming down from the storm event. What about the coronal hole down south? You'll remember the coronal fields bent open and the force surged before that seven-pointer. Well, it closed back up to face Earth and lost the top-level power it had the day before. Quakes were lighter, as you would expect, moderate only here, while Texas actually took one well above average for their area. We've got another volcano waking up as well. This is Concepcion in Nicaragua. Bunch of links today. First is a halo around Andromeda. Turns out the galaxy is six times larger and a thousand times more massive than predicted. NASA's Earth Observatory focused on our cloud animations today, but if you check the global maps page they've got, you have animations for a lot of different indices. You can lose some time there. Got a link also about lopsided exploding stars and what they tend to produce an intro into the newest pollution monitoring satellite, and the probe of V's aircraft detection analysis, all linked for you below. Twin typhoons in the West Pacific, still keeping our focus on the one to the west on the doorstep of the Philippines, about to start hauling soon. We also have officially kicked off the Atlantic storm season way early. Anna is going to make life miserable for a short period near the coastlines here, Winds and flash floods are going to be dangerous, so check your local forecasts. Meanwhile, on the land, a climate extremes event is taking place as heat and moisture energize the eastern side of the convergence for tornadoes and hail, while the western cooldown brings snow, ice, and temperatures far lower than expected. This is likely to be the new normal, folks, with these climate extremes. Very hot serious storm danger, then very cold. Worse and worse as the climate reacts to both internal and external forces. Sorry for sort of talking over what you were actually watching there, it's just that what happens to a tornado-ravaged town if the temperature plummets two days later? Anyway, Europe sees the top watches in the south tonight. The curves concentrically wrapped out from that low draw in the moisture and energy tonight along with the previous convergence still moving eastward. You can see that those are the regions where we'll get the alerts tonight. Still got high pressure clearing the way atop most of Australia, and those two wind flows are still aiming for New Zealand, bringing the excitement with them. Now, instead of current conditions and shots of our star to close, here's the debunking of the San Diego UFO. So folks, 
it is not a UFO. You'll laugh when you see what it really is. But before that, I need to take a swipe at all the alleged open-minded people with eyes open who, with the righteous indignation of a sociopath, berated observers while saying it was a blimp or a reflection. Well, it's not a blimp. So much for that. And it's not a reflection either. You could tell that if you listened to what we were actually saying. You might remember the person tried to debunk it as a reflection, and you might have to remember they had to cheat and flip the top images around. Look up. Their mirror flipped. Anyway, all we knew is that it was not a reflection. It is up there pretty high. No doubt. That's still true. The military made no comment, and this is an NBC film crew on site. That was enough for us to speculate. But in fact, a low-lying bank of clouds and fog was blocking out a mountain in the background that had radio towers on top of it. Yeah, it is almost funny when you see it now. The air density blocked the mountain from view. Heck, the crew on site didn't even see it, and they were there. So while this is debunked, shame on those few of you who called this a blimp or a reflection like we don't know what to look for in those situations. And if that film crew couldn't spot the mountain, we had no chance. This one is bunk, but so are some of your manners, thanks to 99% of you who were polite and kept it classy. Eyes open. No fear. at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.